Megan a stallion. Now, before we get into Chris Sean going off on Blueface for talking about Megan Thee Stallion, she went off because she heard this clip. What did you think about his mom wanting to hook him up with Megan Thee Stallion? What I think about it, it was a clout reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... The clout reach went backwards. Like, it's cool. I already been there and done that. Been there and done what? Exactly. Next question. <laughs> you slept with Megan? Jason, I didn't say that. Look at me. Are you saying you slept with Megan Thee Stallion? Didn't say that. All right, so Blueface trying to elude that he was messing with Megan Thee Stallion. Also, Adam22 posted this on Instagram yesterday, and he said, this was my face when Blueface told me Meg gave him top a few days after Tori bang-banged her in the foot. So that brings us to Chris Sean. Play the clip. We talking about how you f Megan a stallion. His baby mama should have popped the shit out of him in his mouth when when he said he f such and such and such and such. Like that interview he did with her with the Jason Lee show is kind of crazy. I watched a little bit of it, and I'm just like disappointed because I see why I was fighting and always in, in jail. Yo, really be disrespecting sh people just just for comments and likes and the viralness. That's just disrespectful because it's like, damn, Shorty really went back to you to prove that she f with you so heartily. And yo, literally talking about how you f Megan a stallion doing. You was that nigga back then. You still that nigga, and nobody get enough credit. Why are you doing that in her interview with you? You was supposed to handle that, right, my nigga? You got us believing you doing it right. You look good. You eating good. Y'all not eating good. Looking good, y'all. <laughs> y'all already showed this video. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to let Jason Lee drop what I got in my phone because I have a lot of receipts. I got the bitch crying blue running in the background. Y'all really want to go? I try to not indulge. And it's crazy because I didn't want to diss blue. Y'all know I don't want to diss blue, bro. Like, on God, I didn't want to diss blue. You guys made it home? But I'm telling you, he, there was name dropping, and, and she just doing this, looking at her looking at her watch. I'm like, Jason Lee, that's crazy, yo. That's sad that. That's sad, yo. So you about to use her as a pawn, just like how you did me. She don't get no money, just like how you did me. I think we should do a show, Survival Blueface. I survived that nigga on God, yo. Now, I'm not going to shame Megan Thee Stallion if she hooked up with Blueface a long time ago. We heard that when she got into the industry, she saw all of these big stars, and she wanted a piece, okay? And I always said, she did the same thing that any male artist would do, right? She shot her shot. And she was in a position where she looked good enough that she could get a hold of some of these dudes that she probably had been fantasizing about since before she got famous. So I'm not mad at Megan Thee Stallion if she hooked up with Blueface. A lot of females seem to think he's attractive, all right? But I want to address Chris Sean. Because in her head, she feels like she's better than the baby mama that Blueface is laid up with now, a.k.a. Stewie Griffin. That's what y'all be calling her, all right? Blueface, I'm not calling your baby mama Stewie Griffin. That's what the shade room and everybody be calling her, okay? I just said that so y'all know who I'm talking about, Jaden Alexis. But Chris Sean thinks she better than her because she used to pop Blueface in the mouth when he was getting disrespectful and talking about other women in front of her. But did it really matter, Krishan? Because he was still cheating on you. He was still disrespecting you. He was still taking all of your money. You talking about you and the other girls should do a surviving Blueface documentary. How? You haven't survived Blueface because you're still talking about him. See, this is why the other day when she was talking about she got a new man, all her fans were saying, how you talking about your new man and you got a chain 
with Blueface's face on it. On top of having his portrait painted on your neck three or four times, you sitting there with a blue face chain on while you talking about how much you love your new man. Could you imagine being this guy and you seeing your new girl constantly bring up her ex? Blue face has already said he don't want to be a father to your baby and he don't want you. So why are you still talking about him? You sitting up late at night watching his interviews. You doing this live. It ain't even daylight outside. It looked like you just got done watching that interview on your phone and you hit live to talk about Blueface. You obsessed, Krishan. You're obsessed with Blueface. And if he pulled up to your new house right now, you would let him in, not only to your house, into your bed, into your privates, and you would be trying to have another baby with him. If he actually acted like he wanted you. The money and the success should be enough. But it's not for her. She wants blue face too. And she wants him to be a father to her baby. And I do kind of think she had the baby thinking it would keep blue face. But it hasn't worked out. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.